Hi, this is Doug. You're watching Fifth Wall TV. This episode, I catch up with the rising star of the street art world, Evoca. <coughs> Through the perils of our youth can be seen at the legendary Stolen Space Gallery in London until the end of the month. He was only in town for a couple of days, but he was kind enough to sit down with me on the opening night and have a chat in the back room of Stolen Space. Thank you guys for letting us hijack your room. Thank you, Evoca, for letting me hijack you away from your family and the hordes of adoring fans. And I'm going to throw in a couple of clips, but I just need to firstly apologise. My mic cut out in the night and the audio was not quite as crisp as I want it, but hopefully that doesn't interfere too much. When I first started, I wanted to kind of uh, focus on... Paying, uh, getting people to attention to different things that were happening around, around, around the world. And so I figured that I'd evoke and I kind of to evoke an emotion in people and it, so that's why I came up with Evoca. Whether in the street or on a canvas, Evoca's work revolves around storytelling. The story you see and the story he's planning and telling might be two completely different things, but especially with his street work, you always get the sense that he's connecting to the area somehow. I try to do my research wherever I'm going and I'm, when, I was, when I was young I wanted to be kind of like a they say uh, a folk singer and kind of tell stories and that was like my thing but I'm, I can't play the guitar that well and I can't sing at all so it's kind of like I just do it through my heart and kind of tell my story and tell the stories and paint little metaphors for little things that are going around me so it's kind of it's, it's personal every time I pray it's kind of personal and I really it consumes me like I go straight into the process what really strikes me with Evoca's work is he's only been painting for a couple of years and even more impressive than that is he's completely self-taught. I mean, I've been drawing and I, since, I was, since I was a kid and I wanted to kind of be an artist. But growing up in American politics, like poor American politics, like you either play baseball or you work construction. So I played baseball my whole life until college. I tried to attend art school, but it was way too expensive. So then I kind of was like, Obsessed, obsessed with information, so I started getting books and looking at workshops and just kind of trying to teach myself how to paint, like kind of be my own teacher. I've been doing this for the, like, I've been painting on the street for like three years and I've been like painting, painting for like four years, five to six years. So it's like maybe that's why like, I, I was able to develop that fast because I'm really critical when I paint. Through the Perils of Our Youth is a collection of oil paintings that tell the stories and struggles of childhood in the Dominican Republic. The work is at times self-reflective of Evoca's own experiences growing up, but often delves into the shoes of others. It's like a thousand people painting. It's like a lot of people that paint way better than me, just because they can, they can physically paint something better than I can paint. But the thing is, like, I, I want to paint my story, and I want to paint the stories of people that I walk across and people that I meet. Dealing with absent parents, punishment and self-discovery, the children in each of the paintings display great strength and often a defiant resilience in the situation in which they find themselves. Boys with girls is just the two boys like kind of exploring and putting on makeup like in hiding. I know two people, I'm not gonna go into details because I wanna make sure I don't put their names out, but they deal with a lot of hardship like kind of Exploring their sexuality and being comfortable with being homosexual. And one of them recently just tried to commit suicide. And then another one just kind of moved away from the family just so he could be able to, you know, kind of be himself. And I think it's kind of crazy that somebody can, like, have to go to those extreme just because they can't be themselves around their family or the people around them. Kind of like people should just be whoever they want to be. For the last few years, Evoca has been heading the Artisano Mural Project in the Dominican Republic as a way of trying to challenge the rigid and often restrictive cultural views of this small island. You have your dad that his case. You grow up hearing it and then it kind of carries on and you stay in a small town and unless you get out, like we did, that we kind of like get culture and kind of meet other people and see other countries and see how it is okay to kind of like be yourself and kind of do what you want. It's like, unless you do that, you kind of not see the difference. What we do is we try to create these small little towns that have never seen anything like it. Kind of like plant a seed and kind of culture these little small communities and kind of help them grow. Now it's no easy task fusing big city liberal ideologies with deeply religious small countries such as the Dominican Republic, but public art can play a really vital role in getting to the heart of this. It's never easy because it's, it's just like repeating the same steps. Every time, like learning how to walk every day, every time we do the project.
through the pearls of our youth will be on at the stolen space gallery till the 27th of november if you're in london please do go check it out in the meantime i've been doug for fifth wall tv till next time